for the rear brakes of the Renault Kangoo. Let's take off the wheel. Make some room. So what we need is a, seems to be a 15 and a 13 um, wrench and yeah as you can see it's really uh, badly corroded and uh, engraved in here. So 15, 13 and a screwdriver and after that the kit to push back the parking brake, make sure the parking brake is off. Yep, nice and off. So, 13, 15, I think it is. And, let's do fast, screwdriver. There we go. Uh, yep, 13. Oh. In the good direction, of course. Will be a 15, it is a 15. And let's undo this bolt. There we go. Yep. And then the other one. Now let's give it a smack first. Oh, you see some uh, some wet things here. And what do we know? We have a leakage. We have a leakage. Yep. So nice on camera. We have a oh, I see it on the ground also now. We have a leakage of the brake fluids. Uh, and we need to swap out the caliper so I'm gonna order a caliper and um, then I'll catch you back damn it so we're here again with our new um, caliper this is uh, the correct part number this bad boy PHN921E um, pre-manufactured uh, clamp caliper and um, turn off the music so we're gonna start again and swap out the caliper also yes let's make sure the knees oh, and the lights are in good position yep. And here we go again. Yep. There we go. Again, number 1513 flathead screwdriver and uh, suppliers, suppliers for. Um, yeah, the lines are good. Some pliers to, uh, to disconnect um, disconnect this cable for. Uh, no, we can almost pull it out as it is. Uh, but we have to uh, clamp it down and then take out the um, the parking brake cable. So let's talking more action. Flat hats. Oh my take two. And then number 13, 15. Um, and water pump. Calipers. There we go. Everything is still nice in place, so let's get this bad boy out. Um, seems like my caliper is barely making it. 
Oh. Oh, maybe I can do it like this. I have a bigger one, but uh, I need to look for it. But I need... I just might do a... Uh, yeah, just might get the bigger one. I'm gonna hurt my fingers, I think. No. Well, just... Uh. So, this is what we need to do. <laughs> and then you need to undo the cable. Ah. Uh. Uh, or something else that kind of squeeze that. Ah, uh, it's so weak. I can press it with my hand, perhaps. Nope. So let's get the other caliper and restart again. So here again with the bigger pliers, Knipex pliers. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. And now you just grab it. Oh. Just grab it over here, squeeze it, watch your finger, and we pry away, we take away the little ball that's on top of the cable, and We should be able to pry it away, but it's not closing very much. So, there seems to be not a lot of room, but we should be able to slide it just next to the, the lever. Ah, there we go. Woo. When you do this, be mindful of uh, the line, the fluid line. Yep. And then we can take off our uh, working brake cable. For the meanwhile, just put it in the spring, right over there. And um, now we can take off the caliper. First, we are gonna loosen up the brake line. This is a uh, 11 millimeter normally. So I'm gonna show you, we have a special, uh, special wrench for that, but these ones, uh, fuck them, are really uh, strong here. So uh, this one will work. But, you can also buy a kit with special line wrenches and if I get it open, I can show you. And here we have the 11 millimeter, uh, yeah most of the time it's 11 millimeter. 11 or 14 brake fluid stuff, uh, 11 or 14 millimeter. But yeah, <clears throat> look, this is uh, easy. You can, it's open here, so you can uh, stick it on there and have a better grip on uh, on the nut. So uh, if you smack it, up, it's loose. Easy cheesy, you have a better grip with this one. So if you have one of these, uh, and don't buy the, the cheap brand, buy a, buy a good one. Uh, 11 and 14 is, <laughs> most of the time it's, uh, it's good. Um, take uh, this one if you have it. So, that being said, um, having said that, rather, uh, rather, we smack this one loose and the other one, of course. 
Yep. There we go. Up. Feels rusty, so uh, we're gonna take the Milwaukee for a better action. Number 13, battery is almost full. Up. And my number 13 is gone. Oh! It moved. It moved on me. So, let's uh, loosen up this one first. Bam! And uh, the little hammer action will knock off uh, the rust for you. Hopla! There we go. And why do we do the top one first? Because we turn it. Um, left on the opposite side are we of course so uh, from here uh, from this uh, side here it's to the to the right but um, when you do this one first you're gonna spin the claw <laughs> to the right and that's not uh, too good also if you're uh, not having uh, if you don't have an impact gun uh, loosen this cap up and loosen the bolts when the car is on the ground with the brakes applied because else you will not get it off. But I have a good impact, so it should be good to go. It's, uh, and also I'm screwed, of course. So do it all over again, again. <laughs> Bam. Yep. All right, all right. Just a little bit of a a gentle push, pry rather, so it can come off a little bit more easily. Watch the line. Uh, oh, let's check it out. It's clipped here, but it's all uh, fixed. Uh, it's a steel line, just uh, to this part right over there. So this is uh, this can move. This is flexible. Oh. At least it used to be very flexible, but um, we can have a little wiggle room because of this flexible part. So what I'm gonna do now, gonna swap out uh, the caliper, anyways. But to not drip everywhere, I'm just gonna hang it uh, for the time being right over here until we swap out everything uh, over here. Look at this kind of stuff. So let's find a little. Um, hang tool or uh yeah plastic strip or whatever uh oh look 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 this uh this will be all right i think let's try it and maybe do it like this <laughs> Clamp is bullying me. Okay, so can we just hang it here? We can hang it. All right. Well, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So let's take off the brake pads. Just knock them off. Pry them off. I'm gonna replace the whole thing. So all ones go over here course the old springs check out your uh, brake pad kit your new one you might have to reuse these normally they put in new ones but also kits without so it's also a difference in part numbers sometimes you have a uh, three four five different kits for the same uh, the same brakes that's different, no bolts, uh, no extra bolts, one extra bolt, no springs. Uh. 
so that's the difference okay these are good um, now we have to take off uh, the pad holder and uh, let's just check out uh, what do we have here looks like an 18 millimeter um, 18 millimeter bolts that hold that one in so let's get it 18 millimeter 17 18. get a wrench for the good leverage and give it a good smack and indeed it is it is 18 millimeters so as the most uh, caliper holders are oh it's coming yep that's a good one now the other one and let's get our socket back it's not coming off yep it is, it is. all right a bit rusty Up. the upper one and the brake caliper is hanging in my way so I'm just gonna move it a bit up, there we go. Yep. And up. Ah. Voila. There we are. If you can get your socket off. Turn it back, and there we go. Yep, getting it off because I'm gonna take all the rest with my Milwaukee. And there we go. So, Come on! Tighten it too much, I think. Please, please tell me now. Yeah. Let's sing a little bit, shall we? Or shan't we? So, back to Lucy. Right, there we go. And here we are. Bam. That's one. Second one. Okay. So they weren't as tough as I thought. They're gonna be too enough. Now, let's take our finer uh, screwdriver and uh, let's take a little hammer and uh, let's get this out, this dust cap, to remove the brake disc and the bearing inside. So, for this, I'm gonna actually take a little chisel and hammer and just go round and round you can see it's dirty but there's a line a fine line between this and here just gently tap it it will come out just a bit Up. make it come out Yep, it's 
coming out and now it happens if you need to reuse the the brake disc <laughs> don't do it like this just uh, stick in your, your flathead screwdriver and turn it a bit twist it a bit and bam there we go you can even reuse this one if you need to this is there 36 millimeter um, um, nut and we're gonna get it off with uh, the impact so let's do that make some noise Uh, sorry to jump you. <laughs> let's uh, let's set to take off the disc and then I just want to uh, save my time. So now we are at full power, 10 bars. This is a uh, 36, and let's have a go at it, shall we? Oh, my line uh, escaped. Yep. My fitting is a. Uh, <laughs> it's giving up. Need to install a new one. Hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, just in case you wondered, I need to. I used this for, uh, uh, <laughs> I think it was a 2CV, or no, no, another one, another one. I couldn't fit, so uh, I took some, uh, some model off, but it's still pretty strong, so. Right, so as you can see, it comes off at the impact. Good impact, uh, good pressure, the air, air compressor. We have a new one, uh, it comes with, um, the brake disc kit and now we should just be able to take this off and we are and look at it here we have it 
this is the ABS um, ring here is the sensor here it counts we're gonna clean everything up here for the new port and let's check out the new ports <sighs> ABS ring nicely new one this is with a little dust uh, thing on there but yeah it will be good without just a different uh, manufacturer that's all um size wise we're good to go we're good to go i think yeah Alrighty, alrighty. Um, yeah, this one is for Mr. Trash, Trash Metal. So, uh, this we can clean up with um, some red. So, we're back, camera died again. Take some scotch, wipe off the dirt. Give it a good blow. You, don't ask the missus. It's working time. So. You should be nice and shiny. Yes. Watch the sensor, of course. Don't rub too much dirt in the sensor. I'm gonna give it a good uh, clean with some brake cleaner so don't worry don't need the gym quality again but we can't have the ABS ring uh, slide against dirt that's not okay so look at this perfect room to ride and um, the rest is clean enough just uh, some loose debris all right brake cleaner take a rag or some uh, some shopper oh. let's take a new one <clears throat> Brake cleaner. Oh, there it is. There we go. Takes care of debris, dirt, and stuff. And grease, of course. Voila. Shop air for the extra cleaning, couldn't hurt. <laughs> Voila, extra clean. Ready for the new. Disc, put the bag inside. Uh, maybe we need these ones. Uh, check it out. The pads for the trash can. It's also brake pads, port number. Let's check it out. If it's the right one. Some boxes are really hard to open, man. I don't get it. I have to damage it anyway. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, new springs, new bolts. I bought a good one. And the brake pads are the same, yeah. Good for business. Alright. To 
вот мы делаем одна. Our new disc, we have to degrease it uh, after installing it. So we'll do that uh, in just one second. And our new bolts and the sketch. Of course. Opa. So this one slides on. Perfect. Oh, look at it. Isn't that nice? And expensive. Today, that's not my problem. So, let's put on the new nut. I'll tighten it um, just against it. We'll tighten it uh, according to um, specs. Just uh, voila. Now we can install everything. Nice. So uh, the brake disc. I'm gonna show you. Uh, you don't need to uh, loosen it. When, uh, as I said uh, before, when uh, the wheel is on there, uh, the axle is fixed, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Good one, Steven. Sorry about that. I was sleeping, I think. So I'm gonna show you. Um, the specs for this rear brake axle. Um, here we go for the rear um, axle. The central nut, 300 uh, Newton meters. Yep, I don't know if you can see it with the light. Here it is. So the wheel, wait, wait a second. It's the same thing. The central nut, 300 Newton meters. And the um, bearing, 180, but the bearing is inside. And the central nut is on it. Hmm. Yeah, wait one second, I'll come back. So, to be sure, there's um, QR codes on uh, the SKF boxes. So I'm um, just going to scan it with Google Lens. Oh. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Ah, so this is it. Our kit. You can see it. It's in French, but we understand a bit French, so it's okay. Uh, documentation. Yes, it is just that. And when we open it, we get nothing. How convenient. Isn't that great? And then it's gone if you go back. So we do it again. Just to show you the the things you have to deal with. It's getting crazy. Okay, this is a nice app, but <laughs> we're not getting things we need to know. So uh Again, I can click this. It's, again, it's gonna ask for the same thing, and it's gone. I don't know if you have an option to to get it back. It seems not. So again, I'm just gonna open it with a different PDF scanner. If you're in a hurry, this is really, this is really not uh, not too cool. I can tell you. So I'm gonna try to open this. Oh come on, man! <sighs> it 
just download it. Come on. So I, yeah, I download it. Can I open it with another thing? Another browser or something? Another PDF application, perhaps. This is another browser. Let's check it out. Open, yeah, that would be nice. With Drive, perhaps. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> really? Oh, now we still have it. Okay, that's good. Um, okay, again, it's gonna download it. Um, if it asks to open, we have an option for another app here. Um, so I'm gonna use this one. I print and scan, internal fault. Um, so yeah, I need to um, experience this um, PDF reader. Bam, ba bam, bam, bam. I'm just gonna turn off my thing here. So Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat, but I'm sure we have other uh, PDF readers just gonna take a couple because I didn't trust it yep and this one also yep. oh it's downloading it's down okay I'll get you back when I when this is finished downloading. So, we have the other options now. Let's use a Adobe Acrobat 3. Uh, no, this doesn't work. The other ones are still downloading, I think. No, installed and the other one is still downloading. So we have one more option to check out. So ooh, let's uh, download it for the 100th time. Open. PDF reader. I'm giving permission. I'm giving permission. And fault. The document is damaged. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Damn it! So this is what we uh, are coping with um, today. Yeah. So this is the document, and if I open it here, uh, it, it works. It's incredible. It's incredible. So the um, second PDF reader, normal one I downloaded, is good. So now we're just uh, looking for the. Um, wait, I'm reading in English here. I'm just looking for the, um, the tightening torque of the nuts. <coughs> I don't see tightening torques here. Not right away. So instructions, blah, 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 blah. tell me how tight this needs to be. In French, nothing. Two different types, blah, blah, blah. Block this, block that. And no tightening torques nope nothing let's um <coughs> check out the um, the page again nothing else nope nothing else so 
<coughs> if you're stuck in a situation like this, check out my video, of course. And I'm gonna tell you that this needs to be tightened very, very tight. So we have two options. The software here doesn't know it. It says uh, 180, that's uh, probably pretty good. And then it says uh, 300. So my guess is 300 is for the um, the uh, the other um, the, the other uh, type of um, of bearing and uh, <coughs> and disc. And the 180 is for uh, this one. But here's a simple trick. If you look at uh, the new one inside. There's a bearing, a flat bearing. You have conical bearings and you have just straight flat bearings. Flat bearings can be uh, tightened uh, to the maximum. So take your impact or whatever you do you have uh, laying, laying around. A big bar, um, a breaker bar, and uh, just give it a really, 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 really good uh, tightening moment. As you could see when I took it off, this one was having a bit of trouble with it. So I can tell it's probably around um, 200 Newton meters, something like that. But uh, just uh, make it uh, very, very tight. So I'm gonna go uh, number three here, and this will give us a good tightening torque. And you can see it still spins nicely because the bearings are straight. Uh, you can tighten them really good. So. That's how we do it. And this is number four, just to make my point. Still nice and good. Nice and running. So, let's continue, let's continue. It's always good to uh, experience something like this. And as we can see, this is a nice and straight bearing. So we put on our cap, uh, how do we do it, an easy way, uh, just find something, a big, um, a big socket, uh, something that uh, goes on there, so the bigger ones right here, oh, look at this, this is uh, right in the money. Number 41, special uh, socket. So uh, let's tap it in with this one. Will be good. If you don't have a big socket, just be careful and go round and round with your, uh, with your hammer. And yeah, good explanation, Steven. Then you forget your socket. So we tighten it down. My guess is that 180 Nm would have been, if it doesn't go in good, restart. 180 would be good, but just use the impact, full force, no problem. There's no difference because it's a flat bearing. These ones can be tricky to put in, or it have problems with uh, some other ones. So, oh come on! Nope. When the, the sides are catching. You're in trouble. I have ones, uh, which, in which case I had to put on the old ones. So. Yeah. It's having trouble finding its way and just tap 
on the side, don't hurt your socket of course, on the side that doesn't want to go in, just like I did. And now it's going in. So. And you just heard the difference in sounds. That means it's flat everywhere. Yep, uh, just a little bit more over here. Perfect. Nice. Let's continue, shall we? So let's clean up the disc. Um, and put the disc out of the path holder on. Um, this is trash or recuperation. Like corrosion layer must come off. Else we'll have a bigger chance of squeaky noises. Some sites not uh, catching on the pads as good as the other ones. But. And there we go. Nice and clean. Bam! Now we clean up the brake pad holder, of course, and these uh, nuts, we can clean them also. So, let's just do that. Again, if you see my videos, this happens quite a lot. But uh, makes life a little bit more easy. Just take off a bit of the old lock type, and this is where you start threading it in. It should be nice and clean to make it a easy toss. And there we go. Quite a bit of old lock type on there. And some more. So. Clean. Drop them. Hopla. These ones can go. Look. The, oh, oh, oh. We already put in a new one. But we have um, four or two. Ah, two new ones. So we take the newest one. Uh, shall be this one. And the other one can go to rest. Good. Before we do this, we need to make sure the pad holder is clean, of course. Don't forget your dust mask. This might, as, or might as well take mine and put it on. Always be sure the blade is in. And our filthy dusk dusk mask, also protecting for from COVID, of course, as you might know. Oh, the gloves. Feel any more power? Oh, 
That's more like it. All right. Looking pretty good. looking pretty good. Remember the brake pads uh, slide on these ones and these are perfect so it will be good good to go. So now of course we swap out these ones with a da let's take out take off our dust dust mask um and let's clean off the old grease. So that's the top one. Right over here. And I'm just gonna do them one by one. Just pull them. And uh, the ribald side goes on uh, the pad holder. Don't get any dirt in, so attention just a bit just need to clean this edge a little bit maybe with a tiny screwdriver so the new uh, little rubber can go in there and stay in there of course if it doesn't catch on this side, it will just be yeah, falling out. It have no purpose at all. And there we go. Just like that. Let's take out the new ones. Ah, oh, come on. Up, open the back, of course. The bigger. No grease here because it needs to stay on there. You see it's nicely in place now. That's one. Let's open up the grease, push it down a bit. Up. And as we're sticking it in, some grease on the top, of course. Some grease everywhere. And as you're sliding it in, twist it a bit so the grease. <gasps> oh, come on. Up now the bottom one. We already cleaned it a bit more. This is smaller, I think. So it's good to uh, do one by one. Just put it off. Same procedure. Clean the edges. 
turn don't get dirty yep that is good this one looks good just to make sure no extra debris is on there yep looking good rubber oh listen today we are in little Chicago again somebody heard his foot Wee stupid shit down yep let's get some grease on this one and you see you have uh, some little grooves in there that's for the grease to go so it has a place to go Let's see yep and let's put that in turn it a bit turn 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 catch the grease and Oh, seriously, <laughs> let's uh, ignore the retort sirens and take our pad holder. Because <sighs> this is what's most important in life, fixing cars. So let's go and put it on again. Standard procedure. Everything should fit. Yep, a good one. It's like the third time today. All the sirens and stuff. It's hard to imagine that the uh, three houses are firing up in you know, one day. But hey. Bam, that's one. Oh, come on. Come off, man. But there's a festival in town, a little festival, so they're probably drunk. There we go. Tighten them up really good. Uh, the spec for these ones is 105 newton meters. I saw on the software. I have a good feel for it, so this is good. 105 newton meters. Just to, to make it clear. Probably 106, my bad. So, now, the slide on. Ah, the springs, brake pads, the nice coating of uh, anti seats, of course. Oh, and more sirens, why not? What a good day to make a video. bolts, two springs, the pads, leave my anti-seize alone you, yep. Yep. 
just on the parts that slide, glide, not on the brake pads entirely of course. And that's good to go. Ah, finally. So, these ones you just push them in. They have a little, um, little center um, springs here, here and there. So, you cannot uh, misinstall them. Actually, so luckily we clean up everything. So, look, it's uh, ah, it's making noise. <laughs> Good so that we check it because uh, if it's making noise, just push the pin a little bit in. You can have that. Can be the case. So this pin is sticking out just a little bit and we need to push it back just a little bit. Yeah. Voila, there we go. It's free without any sounds. And the upper one, just check for uh, sounds. If it's good, it's good. If it isn't, it isn't. Yep. Push it in with your fingers. No sounds, good to go. Now let's put on the brake pads. And they slide in nice and easy without any effort because we cleaned everything like a champion same for the back ones oh you're already breaking <laughs> all righty good now let's put on a new caliper let's take a pan and uh, loosen the caliper up i'm going to show you a trick how to do it uh, pretty fast but you need one thing you need vacuum pump to do it this way you can take the air out of the the left front wheel and the right back wheel are connected so uh, or with the ABS pump with the scanner all fancy ways but um, if you do it like this you'll be up and running in no time I'm just gonna oh there will be enough air in there the compressor it's okay I'm just gonna swap it out real fast and then suck out all the, the bubbles that go in the line if you're fast enough uh, the bubbles can travel to the to the front so don't worry about it I've done it a lot of times that's that number 11 the new brake uh, clamp here we are Cut this thing off Look there. Bam. Up, 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 up. That's good. Ah. Yep. And now we can start to remove the brake uh, caliper. So I hang it here. So it's pretty easy to uh, remove. Yep. And there we go. Spin it off. Take out the line. Blue one on. Happy, happy, joy, joy. And for this, I take off my gloves because. They're going to be filled with uh, brake fluid, so I don't want that, so... Just take some rags, or latex gloves. Also good, if you hate brake fluid. Brake fluid can be uh, aggressive, 
Там есть стиль. Там есть цвет всего. Doesn't matter. I don't mind. I mean, doesn't matter. So, you take pull it off further and further. If it's stuck, just move a bit and always go a bit up to break the rust free. But this one is coming off nice, so I'm pretty happy about that. And seems like yep. I can turn it by hands now. Yeah, you have to make your your hands dirty somewhere. So <laughs> so put the brake caliper in the, in the bucket. Make sure this is uh, nice and clean, of course. No debris in there, no nothing. So this is good to go. Nice. Take your new one, pull out the tap, of course, and screw it in. Like a champion. Screws in rather nice. Voila. That's how fast it goes. Now, oh, we can tighten it already. So, threads for a bit filthy on this one. So it seems. Now, let's install our caliper. We could fill it with some brake fluids um, or just water. Uh, brake fluid, um, brake fluids, uh, brake cleaner. I mean, water will um, will solve the brake fluid. And when it rains, they get wet. Anyway, so doesn't matter. Take a bit of water. A bit of soapy water left here, and just spray it on your caliper just like that that's all now we can take it and don't forget your little holder we can put it on our new brake pads if it's the right one of course <laughs> Put the two bolts in. You can tighten them down immediately, doesn't matter. Because I'm wearing no gloves, um, I like to clean my hands uh, more. <laughs> Just a bit more to uh, get no break, um, break fluids penetrating my skin. As you can as you can see, my hands are still in good shape, so good neck. Now it's um, it's tight. Now we have to check out the position of the the hose. I think this is looking rather good. For touch the camera, uh, this is looking pretty pretty good. Yes. Yeah. So it can't interfere with the spring. Uh, it's looking good here. So I'm just gonna tighten it the way it is. Um, as this, take your, of course everything is covered with brick fluid, take your, uh, your wrench and tighten it down. And this is good for me. I'm gonna take my fucking because it's a little stronger. Yep, a little longer. And Yep. It should be nice and tight. Don't go, don't over tighten it. Take it for a test drive and check out if it's dry. If you, you have to break uh, really good, of course, do some emergency stops. Um, 
not too hard of, of course I, I, I want to say don't uh, don't descend the mountain uh, roads with, with new brakes and don't burn them um, but have some emergency stops a couple of them uh, two three emergency stops really really good with good pressure on the, on the brake and um, if you don't see anything any leakage here it's good if you see a small little amount of you have to tighten it a bit more go for a spin check it out again and then you're good to go but this one is uh, nice and tight so what i like to do pretty simple just suck out the air right now Up. looks like a uh, number hmm, seven perhaps seven millimeter oh and of course we cannot forget to put in our parking brake cable let's take out the pliers let's put the parking brake cable in yep the ball should be nice and seated in there that's good and now we're gonna uh, release the air from the system with a number nine and then we're good to go um actually number seven i think seven or eight i think it will be seven and it's number seven or even six no it's seven seven is good that's a small one yep so put your thing on there yep and let's open the hoods make sure that's already open uh make sure the brake fluid is stopped up it's sitting right over there so it's uh looking brown and as this looking brown i'm just gonna release this collector and take this sensor off and suck out the brown fluids alrighty so just put it somewhere so it doesn't interfere take some new fluids of course make sure you have one you have a bottle of new fluid and before we suck over here we're gonna suck over there as a matter of fact we're gonna suck a little bit of out of every, everywhere sucking over here sucking over there we might as well suck everywhere and let's go We get the most of the brown part out. Alrighty. And that's also oh god damn it, stupid fucking sirens. What the fuck? It's the end of the world. Safe as shameless. Yep, yeah. so we need this one over here, of course again and of course also this sucking over here sucking over here and let's stop it up it can be entirely filled as we're going to suck out the air and it's going to drop a fuel level so <sighs> what a tedious task let's try to aim for the hole 
and I aim at it correctly. So, bubbles are coming out. That's normal as we sucked out a little bit of fluid. So, again. Yep, that's, that's getting there. Almost, yep, that's full. So, let's suck out some air. And there we go. Might get noisy. It dropped, dropped a bit, still uh, above maximum, so we can continue. If you're touching the, the hose, you can feel it and uh, hear it. Look over here, this is where the fluid is from. Of course, you need to make sure that it works again. And fill it up, top it up. Now we press the brakes. A couple of times. Oh, and it's already very, very hard. It feels perfect already. Just to get the bubbles out. There might be some bubbles, some stubborn bubbles somewhere. Nope. Feels great. Now suck it again.
this is a good uh, vacuum pump. This is the, the good way to do it. Uh, the, the thousands of brakes in it probably. You suck out the air faster than, than the fluid, so it really doesn't suck out that much fluid, but it will be good. And there we go again, a bit. It's a little bit too full right over here, so we're gonna suck it a little bit more and then we're done. So, as you can see, this is a good action on the brake, should be a little bit against it uh, all the time, so this is a, a good end for a good job. Put on the wheel 120 Newton meters, all the bolts, and I take it for a spin, check it again, you're good to go. This is it for me, hope you enjoyed watching, and I'll see you in the next one, bye bye.